What up, y'all? So yeah, I'm just out here on a little shopping mission. Figured I'd just like get out in the streets today. I feel super good today. I've been, this is day four of a juice fast. Like I'm just four days in, no solid food, just drinking juices. And honestly, like my mental clarity, everything is just day by day. Things are just clearing up huge, feeling more normal. Feels good, feels great. Maybe look a little flush in the cheeks, but that's because I just woke up, had a shower. And yesterday I bought some like man cream, some man cream for my eyes and around my cheeks because I noticed I was getting dry. And uh, I applied it, so maybe, maybe that's my man cream flaring up. I don't know, we'll see. I'm still product testing, you know what I mean? But I'm just out here in these back streets kind of adventuring on a cloudy day. Uh huh, on a cloudy day. Is a cloudy day. You're just kind of adventuring around. Sometimes, some days it's nice to get off your main beaten trail, your same roads, and just go down some weird back roads and just like look around, which is what I'm doing right now. And all right, let's get one for the ground. All right, look cool for the ground. Oh, 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 sick! It's so sick! It's dope! It's for the ground, no? Yes, you guys. I am vain. I will admit it. Oh, wonder what that was for. Maybe a little prostate massage, a little butt flush. Take it up to level 10. Really enhance the user experience. Getting digital in the future, you know what I'm saying? Litter is truly a thing though, holy. Man, litter sucks. If you guys litter, just do your best to not. I know it's not, sometimes it's the easiest day option, but don't do it. Maybe I could get a swag daddy shot in here too. All right, meet me down low, like a nature photographer out in the wild in Africa. I don't know why I'm speaking like that, chasing down wild cats, kittens. Okay. I don't have a full tripod, so I gotta get down low. But the good thing about where I'm doing this is this is technically an institution for people that are pretty looped out. And shout out to mental health, because I've struggled with my own. And so, I mean, I, uh, I empathize. But me doing this around here, it doesn't look so, so wild. It looks pretty normal, pretty rough part of the course, I'd say. Into the hut. I love it on my face. I think that's the I think that's the cover, honestly. That could be the cover of, of the magazine, I think. I'm pretty sure. Vote in the comments below. Is that a 10? Like what is that? I feel like I really nailed that. But you guys, real talk. Nature really is a magnificent creature of being, of beauty, of descendant of the Lord. Like really, when you look at it, you, you really have to say there's something really magnificent going on here when it comes to this nature. You know? She's getting dark out. It's definitely, I'm feeling Bill Paxson level. Helen Hunt, Twister could roll in. I might get fucking killed in this. Not sure. All right, guys, that is the pitter patter of raindrops. Open up on me. Oh gracious skies. I love a little rain. Rain can't do me no wrong. Come on now. Yo, Toronto, what up, bruh? <laughs> yeah, sick, 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 bro. Six, 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 Drake. All right, this weather's really flexing on me now, but I was just flexing on it, so really, I can't really say anything. Like, I can't get mad about it, so I really just gotta take it in stride, you know? I don't know why, I just love fluorescence. Like, <laughs> it always looks so dope. You really put the open dope open. You really do. I was just being so hard about this rain and now it's just fucking with me heavy. See, watch. This girl knows. She's all covered up. While we're trapped in the rain, this feels like as good a time as any. Uh, I found some shelter. I'm here, I'm fine, I'm living. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you why, I'll show you why I went on this mission anyways. And that was, uh, I have sleep apnea, I've been, you know, I got a sleep study done and I have to get like a machine probably, maybe, but 
Uh, in the meantime, before I actually go to like my thing and get the prescription or whatever, I've been lo looking for other alternative ways to like reduce the issue because it really, really hurts me. Like I, sleep being fucked up murders your whole life. Maybe the sounds are soothing, but anyways, I went to get this. Snore guard. Yeah. Some little mouthpiece is supposed to keep your jaw forward and open, more airflow. As according to this scientific drawing here, lots of airflow happening there. Uh, a lot of technology. Uh, now, here's where it gets interesting and it better fucking work. Cause this guy was a now cheap. You see it? 62.14. 62 bones for this guy so my my guess is that if you use it you can't return it because you've salivated it and you know so i'm basically stuck with this purchase hopefully it wasn't a waste of 60 bucks but we'll see i guess we'll see oh my god it is a tsunami out that looks like a uh snore guard i think like a really cool snore guard I think it's letting up. It's possible it's letting up. I might might be safe here. I might be in the clear. Not sure. But I think it's 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 lightened up quite a lot. So I never know like what angle to hold this thing from while I'm vlogging. Sometimes I feel like a lot of vloggers just hold it like really low and like let their like under chin be exposed and like just they kind of look forward and actually pay attention to what they're doing. Some people get all like uh hey hi hey guys uh. but just like on some weird like it's just when you're like this the front it's like you want you're like oh i gotta look at the camera and then it just it gets like kind of more awkward it gets weirder and then sometimes you have to deal with i don't know angles of your face like puffy cheeks and fat life and stuff i mean we all have insecurities so i mean i'm, I'm not invincible right anyhow i just sometimes like this is kind of chiller much chiller If there's anything to be learned from this video is that don't let a little rain break your stride. It's a metaphor for life. It gets rainy sometimes. Do I did I die? Did I am I am I fine? I'm still out here shooting. All these people are running inside in their cars. I'm out here getting these trill ass nature shots and shit. Like this wood, barn looking stuff, you know? This could be an album cover, so it's like you could let a little rain kill your vibe but now like it's like basically stop and I'm fine like I'm not it's you know there's no issue so it's it's, it's dope like the rain is dope is what I'm trying to say like climate and weather changes and ups and downs in life are dope oh artistic fence artistic fence artistic fence artistic fence the signs are everywhere sometimes you gotta go the wrong way to go the white way, the white squirrel way. And then if you do that, it, you'll be stoked. I don't know how it is, but it is. This bike is a metaphor. I don't know how, but it is. It's a metaphor for something. You know, don't lay down. And if you do, get up. Oh, all the Instagram models would be going buck for these trees, boy. So beautiful. Look at that. I wish this thing would focus. Oh my God. I'm so, oh my, I'm so, no, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Oh my God. I'm so, so sorry. So, well, I mean, I have to now, so. But you know what they say? It's like hunting. You got to use what you get. Put your kill to use, right? So I think it's cute. I'm thinking 7,000 likes on IG for sure. But if you kill it, like that was accidental, but you know what I mean? Add it to your repertoire, make it nice. You know? Extra cute. See, sometimes in life, things just randomly happen that you think are bad. I think it looks fucking way cuter now. You've changed. Well, no shit, we're supposed to. Life isn't about one stagnant, 
spot or journey. God, I'm inspirational right now. So all these people were out here on this street earlier trying to get in that one last day, that extra long day of the weekend before they have to go back to the shitty menial shit they do and I can relate, I've had all the shitty jobs, don't worry about it. And I still don't not have to work and do YouTube, but this makes me almost no money, so you know, don't be jealous. Oh yeah, somebody just scored the basket. The final basket, somebody got it, I think. Oh! <laughs> Sports! Fucking sports! Anyways, so it used to be full out here and now look, everybody's run away, gone inside to watch sports. And look at me, persevering, getting water. Water is for growth. And this at juncture, I may actually be sacrificing my electronics and I need to put them away. So I'll see you back where it's dry. Bye, I'm being a, I'm being a bitch. Back under coverage. I felt like Kevin Costner in Waterworld. I had basically had to craft a raft just to get back to my condo. So I went for a little grocery shop. It's gonna be the end of this little weird, whatever this was, vlog, I don't know. Loud cars, loud cars. And uh, and yeah, I'm back, I'm safe. And uh, let me show you what Black Pity eats nowadays. A day in the life, distilled water, four liters. Drink it like half of that a day at least, because I drink other vegetable juices and fruit juices and that's where that other water comes from and what's in the bag we get in a big bag a big bag of three tomatoes cucumbers celery broccoli and that's all getting juiced it's like my meals for today a couple juices that's it but what's really dope about it is that it is actually really working I'm feeling so much better better and better every single day and I'm just ready to be inspirational, like so inspirational. So, I mean, just follow me on my inspirational journey and, uh, you know, juices for life, getting healthy, ridding of viruses. Life is uh, getting back to normal, back on track. And it feels so good. So anyways, I don't know, that was weird, but uh, so am I. So till the next one, just stay true. Also eat good, like truly eat good, uh, but, and live well. Gotta live well, so, okay, peace.